with another seed video. I like to take this moment to, sp to speak about my organization, Seedaholics Anonymous. It's where we gather and enable each other to buy more seeds because I'm, I'm probably never going to stop buying more seeds, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but I am here with another sheet video, so I ain't gonna hold you. I got a pack right here. This time I got more flowers instead of vegetables because I keep saying I'm playing more flowers, but I got some. No excuses, right? I hope y'all can see this right. It should come out right on the video, but to me it looks backwards on my my side, but hopefully it comes out. I'll tell you what they are. These are Cosmos sens sens sensation mix. It's a uh, back to the roots seeds. USDA organic. Mm, these fancy seeds, y'all. These fancy. So, but I don't pay attention to that. I get the seeds that I want. I have some. I don't know why they call these daisies because these are black eyed Susans because that rude Beckia is the black eyed Susan's name. So it's just, I think this one's a double petaled black eyed Susan. I don't know why they call it a daisy because that's super strange. But I think it is in daisy family, so it's still kind of correct, just more general. Daisy's probably easier for people to remember. These are, uh, these are definitely perennial here in my area, so these are real pretty. These are kind of like echinacea too, usually, but since these are double petaled, they're not, they don't, the petals usually kind of fold downwards like echinacea, the black eyed Susans, but these are double petaled, so the bottom layer will fold down and the top layer is kind of stays fluffy like a daisy daisy. So yeah, it, it'll be real pretty. Hopefully I can get them, you know, going so they can flower this year. Because I think they flower in the summer slash fall. Their first year. And then after that, these uh, continuous blooms all season, I believe. And of course, I got me some more mammoth sunflowers. Because I'm going to try to save some... I didn't save any sunflower seeds from last year. Because I still have seeds from the year before when I saved like four seed heads. Ugh. I was sick, y'all, so I broke out in hives and everything. It was a mess, so. It's still happening a little bit. That's on my face. It's a little red, and I, you know, I was just outside. It's cold as hell. Yeah. Let me plant some more sunflowers. I'm going to put some in front, some more in front this year. I have zinnias outside, but out front, but I'm going to put some in my backyard by my garden, so. I love these. They're so pretty, and. They're really nice bloomers. They're really good for cut flowers, too. I like them. Sweet alyssum. Or just alyssum, you know. These are really cute. I love these. I think these are like a low ground cover type plant. Let me see. They don't have the size on here. But I'm pretty sure sweet alyssum is low grower. I got me some lettuce. I'm probably going to be sowing these pretty soon because I could probably put these out earlier than everything else. I got a, I got a garden. I use this thing called uh, uh, a garden planner. It's on Farmer's Almanac. Uh, oh, crap. Let me look it up real quick since I'm right here. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's not this one. Okay, I think this one is the right one. Almanac.com, I believe. Let me check. Nope, that's not it either. Let me go. I cannot find it. Let me search the garden planner because that's the one I got saved. Okay, here it is. That's why I got it wrong. It's uh, gardenplanner.almanac.com. That's the website uh, I use. And they have like a garden planner. You do have to pay for it. I believe, I don't, it's, it's not really expensive at all. But 
if you don't want to, you don't have to use it. This is just something that I use that's useful for me. It's well, I only pay for it once a year, and it has a bunch of great tools for putting your garden plan on paper. So maybe I'll show you guys that if you know you want to see it. If that's something y'all would like to look at. And it's pretty simple. You can put like colors and they have symbols for containers and plants and structures and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really good tool if you want to try to... It's been warm for two days and I already got flies. It's irritating. They're going to die because it's about to be cold again. A mess, y'all. Why do y'all do me like this? Anyways... Yeah, so that's what I use. So I'm going to be putting this lettuce out here real soon. I have, uh, this is romaine. This is romaine lettuce. And this is bib butterhead lettuce. Let's see. I like the, the taste of these kinds of lettuces the best. So I got some more bachelor buttons. I love these. These are so really beautiful out front in my yard. So I'm plant some more of those because I was an idiot and I pulled them out last year. I didn't know that these were perennial but I'm gonna do it differently I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to put an actual like tiny raised bed out there I'm trying to get some compost this year and compost my garden my whole garden so I'm gonna need a big thing I got me some kale my kale plant I have kale out there but it does not look good it probably will come back but I'm if I want a harvest I might I probably it'd probably be best if I you know started some I don't have any kale seeds right now I got some onion seeds some regular onion seeds because uh I'm not sure how many I have I know I, I don't think I have any um yellow onions anyway I bought some more green onions you can never go wrong with those I bought this one because it's real pretty it's like a really yellow yellow sunflower lemon queen that's gonna be beautiful and autumn beauty this is one of my favorite sunflowers I love the I love the like burgundy orange streaking in these. They're so beautiful to me. So that's what I got, guys. It's so cool. Do not come here if you are here. Just looking and thinking I'm gonna be like, oh, you don't need to buy the. I am am an, a seed enabler. Don't come to me for um, self control at all. I don't. I don't. I see seeds, and I must. Have them. I do not take responsibility for any mishapped, accidental seed purchases. Okay. I take no responsibility for that. <laughs> so that's all I got for y'all today. I got class, so I got to get going here soon. Give me something to eat. And I will be back again because the, the, the season's going to be kicking up. So we all be doing some, some seed sowing for transplanting. I'm going to be doing some school stuff. I think I'm going to be out in the greenhouse today. So I might be able to get y'all some footage from my school. That's going to be cool. So... That'll be cool to show you guys. Uh, I might put it in this video or make it a whole different video depending on if I get any footage or just a little bit or a lot, you know. So, I might, I'm going to take my girl pro with me to school today. <laughs> I'm glad I thought about that. Oh, this is going to be fun. I might be able to set this up and, you know, head out to the greenhouse and show you guys what we got out there, what I do all the dang time at that dang building. All right, I gotta get out of here, y'all. I came here, mama.